Levy and today we're going to be talking about some common plant diseases caused by microorganisms and also we're going to be talking about disease causing microorganisms and animals and also we're going to be talking about nitrogen cycle. Several microorganisms not only cause diseases in humans and plants but also in other animals. For example, anthrax is a dangerous human and cattle disease caused by a bacterium. Foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus. Several microorganisms cause diseases in plants like wheat, rice, potatoes, sugarcane, orange, apple, and others. The diseases reduce the yield of crops. They, they can be controlled by the use of certain chemicals which kill the microbes. Robert Koch in 1876 discovered the bacterium Bacillus anthracis, which causes anthrax disease. So now we're going to be talking about some common plant diseases caused by microorganisms. Citrus canker is a plant disease that is caused by a bacterium and the mode of transmission is air. Rust of wheat is a plant disease that is caused by fungi and the mode of transmission is air and seeds. Yellow vein mosaic of okra is also a plant disease that is caused by a virus and the mode of transmission is an insect. Now we're going to be talking about the nitrogen cycle. Our atmosphere has 78% of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is one of the essential constitutes of all living organisms as part of proteins, chlorophyll, nucleic acids, and vitamins. The atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken directly by plants and animals. Certain bacteria and blue-green algae present in the soil fix nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert it into compounds of nitrogen. Once nitrogen is converted into these usable compounds, it can be utilized by plants to their root system. Nitrogen is then used for the synthesis of plant proteins and other compounds. Animals feeding on plants get these proteins and other nitrogen compounds. When plants and animals die, bacteria and fungi present in the soil convert the nitrogenous wastes into nitrogenous compounds to be used by plants again. Certain other bacteria convert some part of them nitrogen gas which goes back into the atmosphere as a result the percentage of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains more or less constant thanks for watching thanks for watching stay safe